Thank you. There is talk of bringing Amtrak back to the Valley every few years or so, but this time the feds have thrown some money behind the idea. As 12 News journalist William Pitts explains, it would bring train service to cities across the Valley. It's been almost 30 years since Amtrak rolled through Phoenix, so what would it take to get the trains running again? And would anybody want it? Since 1996, the only thing that's moved on these tracks is freight, but for years there's been talk of bringing passenger service back. It may be even closer. There's traction and there are the funds available, so we're really excited that they're taking those next steps. Tracy Angeles is with All Aboard Arizona. They've been pushing to get Amtrak back in the valley for years. As the valley continues to grow, we want to make sure that, you know, people who come here and people that are here you know, they have more opportunities to, to have those various modes of transit. The new line would look like this. It would go from Tucson to Coolidge, through Queen Creek to Phoenix, on to Buckeye, then down to Yuma. The current line just goes through Maricopa. Eight stops in all, and the cities involved have all signed on. Right now, it doesn't include Mesa, but Mesa's mayor met with ADOT to pitch including his city, too. This, uh, this could be a boon to the area. Tom Zollner literally wrote the book on trains in the Southwest and how Arizona was built by them. He says it's a good idea, but it'll be expensive, maybe even billions of dollars. You've got to rebuild those uh, bridges over the washes. You've got to double trackage some of the right of way. Um, the idea that this would go through Mesa makes it even more expensive. While I am a fan of this, you also have to be um, super pragmatic about it. There are detractors, though. There's a bill in the state legislature that would ban ADOT from supporting it. The punishment would shut down the Department of Transportation. Regardless, there's no money set aside for the project yet, just money for planning. A train to Tucson is still a long way off. The big thing is that the, the funds are there. We've gotten traction, so we're really excited that we're getting a foot in the door. William Pitts, 12 News.